Yo, what is up? This is Bryant Perez. This is part two. Guess what I just got? Today's payday and uh... If you guys don't know, I'm still a kid. I freaking love Legos. Legos are my life. Legos are my philosophy. Everything, everything that I do is Legos. I'll explain that a little bit later. But uh, today, I just want to talk about some of my heroes. The three things that kind of inspire me the most, which are athletes, singers, aka rock stars, and chefs, which are basically like our parents. They like feed us. But those three things are the ones that uh, inspire me the most. I'm going to talk about it a little bit here on this video, but then I'm going to probably just continue it on a podcast. I'm still trying to figure out this podcast thing. I don't know where to put it besides YouTube, maybe SoundCloud. I know i got to probably pay for it, but uh, I don't really want to pay for it. I don't really want to pay for like, I don't know. But uh, so the first guy is Piros Dimas. He's an Olympic weightlifter. He won the gold medals three Olympics in a row. That's 12 years. And then the fourth Olympics, he won it. He won bronze. And this guy's just ridiculous. Like, look, look at this snatch. Oh, look at that. It's easy. He's so easy. And all of that, all it is, is technique. It's all technique. And that's what I love about, like, athletes, chefs, rock stars. It, it all goes together. It's all technique. Like, that technique right there is the same thing as a chef using his knife properly. Um... Gordon Ramsay's one of my favorite chefs. Oh shit. He's burning everything. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay's one of my favorite chefs, obviously. But I love the guy that trained him, which was Marco Pierre White. And the two chefs that trained Marco Pierre White, which were the Rue brothers, which is kind of like where the legacy started from. The Rue brothers are like some of the most legit chefs ever. They own two restaurants. Well, their sons do now. It's like Le Gavroche, which is a two-star Michelin restaurant now, and then the Waterside Inn, which is still a three-star uh, three Michelin restaurant, which I hope to go there soon. And what my favorite, most favorite singer ever is Freddie Mercury. Just because of the impact that he had. Look at that crowd. Like, that sold out Wembley, but that was Live Aid. But still, just the influence that he had on the music today, on the music back then, and the leader that he was. And he's probably the greatest vocalist of all time. You've probably all heard music from him without even knowing that it was him. He was a straight up actual musician, piano player, a composer. A musicianist, everything. Um, those are some of my heroes. Uh, basically, all my other heroes stem from that. Like fighters, like Miracle Crow Cop is one of my most favorite um, heroes ever, just because of who he was and all the things he achieved. And kickboxing pride. He didn't have such a great career in the UFC, but he still tried, and he was. He was able to beat Gonzaga the second time. I, th I think he was on steroids. I don't really know what he was on. But uh, when it comes to rock stars, my first, my first like real inspiration in rock star was uh, Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses, the front man of Guns N' Roses. And I thought he had such a cool voice. I thought he had such a cool style, the red bandana, the glasses. I thought he was just, I thought he was just like God. I think he was the dopest guy ever. And what I'm finding now is like the similarities which I which I like about these rock stars is they all le knew how to play piano. Uh Axel Rose knew how to play the piano since a since a young child. So did Freddie Mercury. I've just recently been getting into a uh, Billy Joel and he's also a piano player. Just a lot of those guys that were able to find that mastermind and that great uh, band members. They all played piano and like their music really revolved around the piano and it like 
it was just really, really dope. And uh, I love to sing. I hope to start playing piano soon. I keep telling myself I'm going to do that, but I never start. And the best thing you can do in life is just start. Um, chefs, like I love Thomas Keller. I like Granite Schatz. I like Rene Redzepi. Gordon Ramsay, obviously. The Rue Brothers. I hope one day... Well, in about next summer, I plan to have a food truck, but maybe 10 years from now. One of my biggest goals is to have a farm here where I can grow my own vegetables or I can just source vegetables that come around this area, which is Bakersfield. We have like really good climate and all that stuff to grow, that type of stuff. I want to find some farmers that have fresh cattle, maybe some baby lambs, maybe some just everything like... I can find the best of around here and do something that Thomas Keller did in Napa Valley, but do it here in Bakersfield where everyone everyone thinks there's nothing out here, but Bakersfield is like a secret gold mine or like with a secret gold mine that contains diamonds and gold and money and like no one sees how valuable it is. Um, that's why I moved back from like LA because I just knew everything was out here. And I got tired of living out there. And I just, I know if I put in the hard work and I keep consist, um, consistently doing this work and honing my craft, honing my skills, and just staying on the right track that I can literally do this and I can probably just change like what restaurants are out here and maybe even inspire other chefs to do that for themselves and where they're, where they're from too. Like maybe just go back home and just like, hey, like, everything's here I don't know where everyone lives from but I know all the resources are here and it's just you gotta have the will to win you gotta have that desire you gotta you gotta know like what the purpose is you just gotta know and like once you know and you start to grow ooh, I'm rhyming once you know and you start to grow and you start to show and you start to flow you know that you can just go and keep going and going and going so these are some of my heroes uh, I'm kind of excited about this. I'm probably not going to build it. What I do is I buy a Lego set and then I just leave it there for like a month until like I really, 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 really want to build it and then I'll build it. Um, I don't know why I do that. I'm a tease to myself. But uh, those are some of my heroes. Uh, I'm going to keep talking about this. I'm going to probably sing right now, actually. I just got off work. It was pretty easy. Um, I brought some sweet bread. Follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. Follow me on Facebook. Let's connect. Let's talk. Let me let me know about some of your heroes too. I wanna. I I like learning and about people's inspirations, and I really like connecting with people. Let me know what. Let me know what you know. Let me know what makes you you. Let me know what makes you glow. Let me know what what other people have inspired and made a part of themselves into you. Like just these guys right here like they're legit they inspire me they're my heroes but my biggest hero in my whole life is my mom and my dad they got to be the biggest heroes that I have and with that I'm probably going to keep continue talking on a podcast I'm going to try to figure it out if anyone has any ideas or any any good insight on making a podcast and where I can do it and where can I where I can host it besides just recording on my phone and putting it on YouTube please let me know I would love it let's connect let's go Brian Perez out ah.